Welcome back to Crypto Zombies. We're in chapter eight, working with structs and arrays, creating new structs. Remember our person struct in the previous example? Struct, person, this person had an age and a name. Then here we create a person, public, people, which is an array of persons or people. Now we're gonna learn how to create new persons and add them to our people array. So here, create new person, a person, Satoshi, and it's a new person, uh, 172, and Satoshi is what we're passing in there. So then, add that person to the array would be people.push, and then the name of that person, which here we named Satoshi. And this would push it into the people array, which we did here. We can also combine these together and do them in one line of code to keep things clean people dot push and then our new person and then with the values we're passing in here is 16 and vita leak note that array dot push adds something to the end of the array so the elements are in the order we added them see the following example so you int numbers here we're pushing into numbers array 5 10 and 15 so numbers is now equal to 5 10 and 15 in that order so put it to the test Let's make our create zombie function do something. Fill in the function body so it creates a new zombie and adds it to the zombies array. The name and DNA for the new zombie should come from the function arguments. Let's do it in one line of code to keep things clean. So we zoom out, we come over here, and then there we're going to do something similar to people.push, but our array of zombies is called zombies so zombies dot push and here we know it's a zombie and our zombie we're going to use oh like it said down here was the the name and dna for the new zombie should come from the function arguments function arguments are here which means we would use name and DNA both with the underscore and then here so basically this would whenever we called the create zombie function we would pass in some values here like whatever name and whatever DNA and then it would run the code in here and it would throw in that name and DNA into here and then create that zombie and then push it into zombies so let's see if this will work check answer we did a pass so here we're learning how to push our structs that we create in this lesson we created a zombie and well we didn't create a zombie we made the create zombie function and added code in it so that when it's called it would create a zombie once we pass in those parameters but as long as you got that you're getting the hang of this it's very similar to again other languages uh, we're just pushing stuff into arrays that was crypto zombies like share subscribe up it was helpful i'll see you guys on the next lesson